can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Given this equation, square root of 8x minus 7 plus square root of 8x minus 6 equals square root of 5x minus 4 plus square root of 5x minus 3, then the goal is to find the value of x. Pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution and the technique in 3, 2, 1. So given this equation, the goal is to find the value of x that satisfies this equation. Now, to answer this kind of question, first, take note that the expression inside of this radical sign cannot be a negative number. So we can say that x is greater than or equal to 7 over 8. Otherwise, if x is 6 over 8, when we plug in 6 over 8 to this expression, this entire expression, 8x minus 7, is a negative number. So this is not possible. Therefore, we want a value of x that is greater than or equal to 7 over 8. All right. Now, one thing to notice in this kind of format is this constant. We have negative 7 and the negative 3. They sum up to negative 10. And also, this negative 6 and negative 4. So first, don't square on both sides right away. Because if you square on both sides right away, you don't get anything. So first, before we square on both sides, let's rearrange some terms a little bit like this and that is the time to square on both sides and here's the result because if we square on both sides we get something like 8x minus 7 this one minus 2 times the product of these two expressions so 8x minus 7 times 5x minus 3 then square root of 5x minus 3 squared we have 5x minus 3 and on the right hand side we have 5x minus 4 minus 2 times the product of 5x minus 4 and square root of 8x minus 6 plus 8x minus 6. Now here comes the good thing because if we add similar terms, we get something like 5x plus 8x, 13x and negative 7 and negative 3 is negative 10. We will get the same thing on the right hand side. We have here 13x and negative 10. So if we subtract 13x on both sides, and we add 10 on both sides, they are just 0. Now, let's focus on this result. What we're going to do here is to divide both sides by negative 2. So this will give us square root of 8x minus 7 times 5x minus 3 equals square root of 5x minus 4 times 8x minus 6. And if we square on both sides, we can say that the expression inside of the square root are the same. So we can equate them. And now, let's multiply these two factors. And if we do that, we get 40x squared minus 59x plus 21. On the right-hand side, we have 40x squared minus 62x plus 24. And we have the same 40x squared term. So if we subtract 40x squared term, we get this equal to 0. So this is just negative 59x plus 21 equals negative 62x plus 24. Now, we can also solve for the value of x. Rearrange some terms a little bit. Combine similar terms. Negative 59x plus 62x is 3x. And 24 minus 1 is 3. Divide both sides by 3, we get x equals 1. Therefore, x equals 1. And 1 is technically greater than 7 over 8. Now, let's check if 1 is really the answer to this equation. And that is, we get 1 plus square root of 2 on the left-hand side and the right-hand side of our equation. Therefore, given this equation, square root of 8x minus 7 plus square root of 8x minus 6 equals square root of 5x minus 4 plus square root of 5x minus 3, then the value of x that satisfies this equation simply equal to 1. And as always, we are done.